All right, what's up everyone? Uh, back with another video. Um, we're driving back from Florida right now. We're driving from Florida to Mississippi. And I didn't really plan on making a video on this, but I have about a 10 hour drive ahead of me. And I figured I might as well document it and not be bored for 10 hours. So or we're gonna do a little little Q and A type video. I posted a I posted a thing on my Instagram story asking for questions uh, uh, like a week or so ago. Uh, I got a couple responses, so I figured I'd just take some time and answer those questions and just chill on this long 10-hour car ride. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with how far I am and stuff and how the drive's going. Uh, I'll kind of show you around where I'm at because I want to. Um, yeah, so thanks for pressing on this video and you know. Have fun driving to Mississippi with me. Okay, another question here. Ugh. How long have you been training? Um, I've been training for... Okay, this is kind of hard. So... I mean, I've technically been training since high school, but like, because I played, so I played football in high school, so I've been, tra I've been training since then, but I haven't been bodybuilding training since for like, but I've been bodybuilding training for like two years now, I think. I think it's been like two years that I've been doing like the actual bodybuilding stuff. Before that, it was like, I mean, anyone who's played high school sports understands how kind of like not great those lifts can be and like you kind of just slack off and stuff. So, I mean, I've been lifting for like six years, but I've been like actually lifting and actually focusing and like dialing in on my training for probably like two years, I'd say. So, yeah. All right, I'm stopping to pee now. Um, I figured I'd just let everyone know that I was taking a bathroom break because I'm sure you guys really wanted to hear that. Um, Say hi to all the gay okay, notes. There's no cars. Just kidding. But yeah, I'm peeing. I get their speckles. Okay, so the next question is How do you like the dirty south compared to the west coast? Um, uh, the south is something. Uh, it's cool. It's definitely a change going from uh, southern California to southern Mississippi. <laughs> uh really the biggest difference i think is like little things in everyday life like people's like mannerisms and like the fashion is very different and like prices are very different that's probably the biggest one is prices prices out here are so much cheaper compared to the west coast like living out in cali is so expensive uh, living out here is way cheaper and honestly what else It's kind of hard to compare them though, because my experience with both is very different. Like here I live completely on my own with one of my best friends from high school, you know, and like, um, like back when I was living in California was like my high school days and my grade school stuff, like living with my parents. So like, it's hard to compare, but overall, I'd say I like the West Coast better in terms of things to do and like the scenery and then i mean that's just where i grew up too so like you know all my friends from school and stuff are there and, and all that it's just like more home you know but i like the south because it's like when i say the south i mean mississippi i don't have much experience with the south other than where i live but um i really like where i live i really like i think if i lived some, anywhere else i would not like it <laughs> to be honest i really like my space where i live like where me and my roommates live is really, it's a really cool spot. So yeah, basically to answer the question, if I'm gonna compare them, I like the idea of the West Coast better, but in terms of actually living, I've come to enjoy the South actually a lot and making my own, like, and making, my, making it my own, making my own home and all that stuff. So hopefully that answers that question. Okay, would you ever use steroids? Um, so that's an interesting topic to talk about. Sorry. So would you ever use steroids? Um, that's an interesting thing to talk about. So right now, no. 
No, I would not ever use steroids. I'm completely natural. I don't use any type of uh, enhancements. The only things I take in terms of like supplements and stuff, I use creatine and I use glutamine. And I guess if you count protein and pre-workout as supplements, I use those. But that's about it. Um, the realm of steroids is not something I'm necessarily interested in getting into right now. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking about competing at some point as like a natural bodybuilder. And so depending on how I enjoy that process and how that all goes, it will kind of determine if I take it a step further and if I try to like, you know, do it, go pro, whatever. But it really depends on how I like it and how I th and, and like how I think the results come out. So as of now, no, I will not use steroids, but you never know like down way down the line if that's something that I'd become interested in. But right now I have no interest in that, no. Uh. All right, a uh, little life story. How'd you get to where you are today? Um, okay, so. I'm going to try to make that short. I feel like I could make a whole entire video on that, but I'm going to keep it short. Basically, like I said, I'm from the West Coast. That's where I grew up in Southern California. I went to high school out there. I was born and raised out there. I went to elementary, middle school, high school out there. Um, and I, I grew up pretty much a normal life like most people. Um, what kind of changed everything in pers what, what kind of put things in perspective for me? was when I transferred high school. So I started off at just like the big public school that all my friends went to and like, you know, the one that you were kind of expected to go to. And I ended up transferring to a smaller private school because I was trying to pursue football to go play football in college. And so I ended up transferring schools away from all my friends. And it was about 45 minutes to an hour away from my home. And so that was like a big eye opener on what the real world kind of was like. Cause I mean, getting up early every single day, you know, uh, get preparing everything to be gone essentially away from my house from like 6 in the morning until close to like 8 or 9 p.m. because after football practice and everything else after school it wasn't anything I'd ever done before but th doing that though I'm so thankful that I did that because that prepared me for college and prepared me for the north my like and prepared me for real life and where I am today and so the transition from high school to now I'm in college was so much easier I think because of me having transferred schools in high school but so that's kind of like my growing up story in terms of lifting and training of how I got to where I am and like why I'm doing all this and the whole thing um, I had a lot of insecurities as a kid I was always really skinny and scrawny because I was for the most part I was taller than a lot of, I was always like the tall friend I mean right now I'm almost six I'm right about six one and a half six two and growing up I was always like the tall friend but since I grew from a young age I was always so like lengthy like my limbs were lengthy you know and I was always so insecure about being all skinny and scrawny and stuff and plus I also had I also had really bad acne when I was uh, in like I towards the end of middle into high school I had really bad acne and it just like between being skinny and scrawny and getting acne I was so insecure not that there's anything wrong with either of those but for me personally it just it just had a such a toll on my confidence and so a, a way that I found to break through that was to start going to the gym and start lifting. Um, that's, that's the reason I got into lifting so heavy, lifting so hard. I fell in love with the gym after I started doing it. Uh, I got into, you know, following fitness influencers on YouTube and stuff. And I've, I've, after watching them for, you know, the last few years, I've kind of been like, I want to do that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really pushed me to to get to where I am, to try to help people, to try to entertain. I know how much I took from it, so I can provide entertainment or education or just something for someone to do in their pastime and just kind of forget about the stuff they're doing and to watch a video. That's kind of why I'm doing all this, and it makes me super excited to start. Anyway, I kind of rambled on there, but that's kind of like my little summed up story of why I'm where I'm at uh, mentally and then physically as well. So yeah, that's a good question. I like that one. All right, first stop. Ah, don't pass it. Loves. That's where we're going. So, how exciting. All right, and what better time than now to have another little dash talk. This view's great. This angle's awesome. Because then I can really concentrate on the road 
and talk to the uh, to the camera at the same time. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, we're just driving. It's pretty great. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about like my schedule coming up here, like meaning like YouTube wise and like life wise. So basically, my plan, my rough draft plan for what I want to do is I, I want to post once a week. So. I'd like to post every Sunday. I advertise this video, today's Sunday, um, the 20, well, when you're seeing this, it's the 22nd, I believe. Um, I think, what day is it? Today's, today's the 16th, but you're seeing this on the 22nd. And yeah, I'd like, idealistically, okay, I'd like to post every Sunday, just like this. Sometimes though, I might post twice a week. Sometimes though, I might have to push it back a little bit into the week. It just depends on my schedule. So basically, um, I'm a full-time student in college right now, university, and I work part-time as a server too at a restaurant to just make some money. So in the in between times is when I'm gonna be recording, going to the gym, making content and stuff. So again, sometimes some stuff comes up. Sometimes I might not be able to record, maybe I don't have time to edit. But I think I should I think I should mostly be able to post every Sunday. Like I don't I don't think I should have any issues with that. So that's gonna be the goal. Um, I think for the first week, I might actually be posting twice this week because since I haven't posted anything yet, I have been kind of gathering, gathering like content, gathering video and stuff in preparation to start my channel. So I'm thinking I might have enough content, sorry, I might have enough content put together to actually post twice this week. Uh, no promises, but we will see. So yeah, that's kind of my schedule coming up. Um, again, if you are watching this, and there's anything specific you want to see, please just let me know. Um, you can go DM me on Instagram. You can put in the comments, do whatever you want to do. Just let me know because I want suggestions for what content you guys want to see. And then just things I can do. So like I said, I go to college. I can do stuff on a college campus. I can travel to other colleges. So I'm in South Mississippi. So if there's any college like around here that you're a fan of and you maybe want to see some stuff over there, LSU, Alabama, whatever it may be, um, Tulane, all that type of stuff. We can go mess around on those campuses too. So just let me know. We can probably make it happen. Um, and yeah, again, appreciate you guys watching. I'm really glad that you're here for this. Uh, and I'm super excited to start. I'm super excited to start doing this. Uh, so it's been a dream of mine for a really long time. And yeah, I'm really excited to actually buckle down and do it. Cause I've been, I've been like talking, talking, talking. I've been like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a channel. I'm gonna, oh, whatever. And then I never do it. So one day I was saying it to myself. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel, whatever. Or I was telling someone else. And like when we stopped talking in my own head, I was like, you're literally all talk. Like you're not like you're not gonna do it, you know? Like, like, nah, I don't know. I just I just was like, you're not gonna do it. You're all talk. Stop telling people until you actually do it. And for some reason, that like little conversation I had with myself sparked something in me. And I was like, no, you know what? I'm sick of telling people what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it. You know, so this is me just doing it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the content. I hope it's at least entertaining or maybe something for you to just pass the time with, you know. Um, and I'm glad to, you know, show more about myself. And yeah, I'm really excited for what the future holds. I think we can start something here. I think it can be a really cool little thing. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. So anyway, back to the drive. Bagels. Cracker Bells, what what? the quality has just progressively gotten worse and worse but we made it I bet guys I bet boys so yeah we finally made it home and I have to pee so bad so I'm gonna make this quick thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video later